the final sequence right there. Take us through the thought for obviously driving down the field, the decision to kneel in the middle of the field. What were you thinking there? Any shot of going in the end zone? Yeah, I mean, you can go to the end zone, take a sack. Now you're outside of field goal range, things like that. So we didn't want to do that. Felt good about our kicker. Jonathan does a good job. He's had a good camp. Uh, never thought twice about it. The old staff, we said, let's get to the middle, let's kick it, and tie it up, go to overtime. We felt comfortable about us playing in overtime. Coach, talk about chasing Virgil's performance tonight, four touchdowns in his debut. Yeah, I mean, you know, he did some good things. I think he's he showed in camp that uh, he needs to be out there on the field, and that's a positive thing. You know, some a couple of unfortunate plays for us, but, uh, you know, we got to grow from this. We got to build on what we got. Coach, overall, your defense tonight did about everything it could do to keep you guys in this. I mean, speak on their performance. What did you see from them? Yeah, I thought they played hard. You know, I think our whole team played hard. And, uh, you know, UL Monroe did a great job. We got to give them credit. They ran the football when they needed to run it, and they scored when they needed to score, and that's why they won the football game. So, what we got to be able to do is do a better job getting off the field. They were, I think it was seven on ten, seven out of ten on third downs in the first half. So that kept us on the field a little bit longer than we should have. We had a lot of uh, a lot of snaps tonight defensively, but they fought, man. So yeah, you can't say more than that for them. Pretty rare to see two targeting calls on your from your starters. Hey, did that have any impact on the defense performances? Well, uh, you know, it's uh, I, I mean they, they call what they call, but at the end of the day, the next guy's got to step up, and I thought we did a good job of that. You know, I was happy that uh, our guy stepped in there. Nobody blinked. Nobody uh, worried about anything. We just played, you know, played after that. So that has nothing to do with the game. Coach, I know uh, going into the year, you talked a lot about getting Jawan Petit Frere more involved offensively. Certainly had a big game, over 140 yards receiving and two touchdowns. Talk about him and what he brings to the offense. Well, you know, I, I think it's it's Juwan. He did a good job this spring, but this summer he really did a nice job developing Allen. He's uh, he's becoming a good receiver, route running, understanding coverages, understanding positioning on the field, and then catching the football. And we know what he can do with the ball in his hands, but we just had to – all those things lead up to it. So. Uh, he had a good a good game tonight, but we got to build on that. It's going to have to be better next week. Coach, this some obviously stings a little bit emotionally, a lot emotionally. What was your message to the guys right then in the locker room? Well, we didn't get the outcome that we wanted, but we're not an outcome-based team. We want to win. I mean, I, we, we don't make any bones about that. But how we play next week and how we play the week after, we want to continue to improve this season and stack up good play, good play offensively, defensively, and special teams. So uh, it, we want to make sure that – that we're not satisfied with what happened because we're not. We didn't win the football game, but we did do some good things, and we're not going to overlook that. What did you learn about your team tonight? Well, I learned they're going to compete. We, we, you know, we saw that, and then we wanted some guys to go make some plays, and we found that. We found a, you know, a couple of defensive backs went up and made plays. We found some receivers go up and make some plays. I thought our offensive line did a nice job protecting the quarterback. So, you know, I think there were some things that took place today that we found out in game situations that we had suspected, but we just didn't know because they hadn't been in the game yet. Yeah, very competitive, but very good. Both of those guys uh, understand that. I, I think it's the most unselfish uh, pair of guys that I've, I've seen in a long time in college football. And even in the NFL, those guys really pull for each other day in and day out. They help each other on the sidelines. And they do a good job uh, communicating what they're seeing and whoever's in the game. Coach, third quarter, that offense, uh, the offensive struggles in the third. What was kind of the issue behind there? What do you think happened? Yeah, you know, same thing in the first half. We got ourselves outside the chains with a penalty or a negative yardage play. And when that happens, it's too hard to get back in rhythm. So uh, we've got to be able to overcome that. When we go back and look at the film and uh, determine those things and we're looking for a pattern. So that's what we're trying to, well, that's what we'll do when we start, you know, breaking down this game. But we don't want to get outside the chains on first and second down and put us in a bad situation on third. Uh, Newton, has ability to run. Uh, I noticed y'all didn't really do that in the second half. Is that in the game plan, obviously, in the first half, but then you got away from it? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think so. I think uh, what he got four carries in the first half, so it wasn't a big big difference in the second half. I think Chasen had a hot hand throwing the football. We felt good about that. Uh, we felt like we had some options in the pass game a little bit better than in the run game. All right, Coach, good luck next week. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys.